Hey guys, we're going to talk about climbing systems today, and specifically, we're going to discuss two of the hottest, most popular products out there for the run and gun mobile lightweight hunter the Wild Edge Step Ladder and Out on a Limb Shakar Stick System. You know, Jim Step brought this system out to market in 1991, and it has since developed almost a cult like following. Once you pair this with a Nader Swader, you'll see exactly why it has gained such fervor and a fevered pitch in the run and gun mobile hunting world. It is amazing how high you can get with such minimal weight and such a little small package. You know, Matt Garris brought this system out last year and introduced it to the Archery Trade Association show and took gold for new product development in, in the run and gun world. It's a, it's a phenomenal product. We're going to pair it today with Mike Esbell's VersaAter. He sells at BackwoodsMobileGear.com. We'll show, it, show you how high you can get with a 17-inch stick. And guys, for a stick, it doesn't get much smaller than this. So stay tuned. We're going to give you some options so you can make a better informed decision for your hunting system this season. Okay guys, so what we're going to do today is we're going to show you exactly how to climb with the Wild Edge Steps, pairing it with a Nader Swader. So a lot of you guys in the saddle hunting world are familiar with that. If you're not, if you're new to mobile hunting and, and cutting weight and all that, let's go over the basics real quick. This is the Nader. It wraps around your foot, wraps around your knee, there's a little hook. It's almost like the lone wolf accessory hook that you put on when you hang a lone wolf alpha hang on or something like that. This is very similar, goes around your foot. This is the Swader. Get my lineman belt out of the way. This is a sweater, except for it has a carabiner on it. And then there's a little bungee cord that I clip into the side of my saddle here. And that keeps the bungee from falling all the way to the ground. We'll show you how that works here in a second. Here's my bag. I'm going to use today four wild edge steps. A lot of times I have five with me. I'm going to use four because I'm going to compare and contrast this and show you how this system compares to the, to the Shakar out on a limb sticks. We're going to use four sticks. We're going to use four steps. I'm thinking without knowing right off the bat, I'm thinking they're going to be very, very comparable and we'll weigh them and show you the differences here later in the video. But so the thing you do is you just pull the steps out, let them hang, pull the ropes out rather, and you can grab a stick as you go, uh, step as you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this about chin high on this tree and I, I can zero in later and show you how to make the loop on this wild edge step. Very simple. Pull it up above the rope and get it to cam over, okay? That thing, the president of Wild Edge actually has a video on the Wild Edge YouTube channel of him being held by a come along sitting atop a four wheeler up in the tree at about 20 foot. So guys, this is a rock, rock solid system. So let me show you how the Nader Swader works. You grab the Swader, lift your knee up, Clip on your carabiner there. Now you can see that puts my foot in a position that I can just step up. And now I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip my hook of the nader in. Now I can step up again. I'm putting pressure on toes every time I go up. And I can just step up. Guys, this step was developed by a gentleman named Jim Step. Kind of a perfect marketing ploy built in right off the bat. He built it because he had a an uh, injured leg from Vietnam, I believe it was, Vietnam or Korean War, I think it was Vietnam. He had a prosthetic leg. He needed a system that he could step up and just pull his, basically for lack of a term, better term, his peg leg, his prosthetic leg, pull it up and let both feet sit on, on the same surface level. So what we're going to do, is we're going to go around again. From here on out, guys, we're going to speed it up until I get to the top. And then I've got a tape measure with me. We're going to show you how high we can get using this system in four steps. Okay guys, obviously you can see I could just climb on up one more time and my head would be another six, seven feet up higher. But this is my fourth step. I've got my tape measure here. I'm gonna to measure to the ground from the fourth step. I'm gonna to try to get that as straight as I can. 
It is one, two, three. It's 20 foot, four inches. 20 foot, four inches to the level of this fourth step. That's how high, four wildest steps, and a nader sweater will get you to four steps. It's 20 feet, four inches. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna leave this set up here. We're gonna go get our shikar sticks, and we're gonna climb right beside them, see how high we can get with four shikar sticks, and Mike Isbell's Versa-Aider, see how it compares system to system with how high you can get four sticks versus four steps. As you can see, it's a pretty quick system once you get familiar with it. Okay guys, we're gonna transition over to the shikar sticks from out on a limb. I'm leaving the wild edge steps up so I can show you an exact comparison right beside each other. What I am gonna do though, because I'm gonna climb with the sticks right here and that's gonna present, present a little bit of a challenge for the sticks, the, the straps to sag over. Here's a cool thing about a wild edge step. You can just lift it up, cam it, move it over and then cam it back down in place. You know, if you're using the old fashioned screw in steps, that takes forever to get a step out and screw it back in. You can do this, and as I go up, you'll see that I'll, I'll before I put a stick up and attach it to three, I'm just gonna uncam it, slide it over, cam it over, but they'll be at the exact same height they were. So let's go over the system, what I've got. The cool thing about Wild Edge steps is they come with a bag, they're self-contained, they're really easy to get to, very, very convenient. With four sticks, you kinda gotta figure out how you're gonna transport them up a tree. Uh, I know it's why I've got a buddy who's went to one sticking because it's like uh, three sticks, four sticks. Uh, we're gonna show you four sticks today. And so what I'm gonna do is I've tied off two with night eyes gear ties on either side of my saddle. And so let's show you how I do it. I actually try to put this stick, this Versa button, where it's gonna come out really close to chest high. You'll see when I get a little bit of sag with this mini flat strap, I'm gonna go around the tree behind the posing strap on the Versa button loop around once and then come back with a half hitch. And a lot of times I just double it up like that so it's really easy to pull off. Then I'm gonna seat it. I'm gonna, well, let's, let's connect ourselves to the tree first. Be safe. Nice thing about these guys is you always have two hands free when you have a lineman belt like this. I like pairing it with a mechanical ascender. I specifically use Sterling Oplux eight millimeter paired with a Kong duck. It's just been my favorite for, for a long time give myself a little bit of room to operate. I'm gonna take the Versa Aider, which is very similar to the suader that you saw me use with the Wild Edge Steps. I'm gonna take the Versa Aider, I'm gonna hook this, make it almost a little too high. I'm gonna hook that over that button, and then all I've gotta do is dig in and climb on up. Once I get the, all the strapping out of the way. The nice thing about the Versa Aider just pops right off. I can go ahead and step up onto the second step. Now, that probably wouldn't have been as difficult if I wasn't trying to hold on to the second step. Again, we're gonna move this wild edge step over, uncam it, slide it around, cam it back into place. That lets me put this strap on exactly where I need it to. So guys, I'm about the same. Uh, where I was before with the fourth wall edge set, this is the fourth Shakar stick. I'm gonna put it just like I would climb up on it for the last time. Seat it. And I'm not gonna go ahead and climb on up. You've seen me do that three times. But let's show you the difference. In fact, you can probably see it. Here's the fourth wild edge step. Here's the top of the fourth shikar stick. Since we've already measured all the way to the ground, let's show you the difference here. 
five and a half inches. There's five and a half inches difference in height that you can reach with four shikar sticks, 17 inch sticks, and a Versa Aider versus four wild edge steps and the Nader Swader. So let's go ahead and come down. We'll take them into the archery shop. We'll weigh them. We'll do a little comparison, give you some dimensions and show you some other things from there. Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a second here and show you how to make a proper wild edge loop. There's a lot of confusion about that online. If you're right-handed, I like taking the part of the rope that's spliced onto the rung. This is the rung. I like taking that and sliding it all the way to the left. Then I turn it where my hand is facing up like this. I go ahead and reach all the way around and I can actually touch it and grab it with this hand and just slide it back like this, okay? So now we're, we're ensuring that this rope is underneath this part of the rung and this part of the standoff. Again, I'm gonna go underneath over here. I'm gonna pull it tight. Then I'm gonna give myself some slack, go between the rung and the standoff in that hole right there. Come back and it's formed a loop here. Just put your tag in through that root loop and pull it tight. Don't pull it so tight that you can't lift up. You wanna make sure these standoffs are above that level of the rope. Cam's right over. Really simple, guys. Okay, guys, so we've got one shikar stick with the 5 8 inch mini flat strap hanging here and you can see it comes in at 1.7 pounds okay guys as you can see i have all four shikar sticks hanging up with their 5 8 inch mini flat straps wrapped around so you get a true weight here Like 6.6 pounds. Okay guys, here's a shikar stick hanging without any kind of strap at all. A lot of people are probably going to use an Amsteel uh, whoopsie daisy or some kind of a uh, whoopie sling with that. And so, and, you know, that's just going to be a couple ounces at best. So a sh shikar stick by itself is one and a half pounds. Okay guys, you can see I've got the uh, four wild edge steps balled up there. Now I do have hockey tape on there. I left them out last night, it rained on them, so they did absorb a little bit of water. Not much though, to be honest with you. And so you can see our weight, hanging weight there, 4.6 pounds. That's four wild edge steps wrapped in hockey tape with the ropes on there, 4.6 pounds. Okay guys, I did want to come back and point out, these things have been pretty much filled with bark. These are my personal set that I use. I probably climbed 100 trees this past season, bow season. And so, again, pointing out they have hockey tape on them and they're filled with bark. Um, I can tell you from past experience, I used to get a lot of questions on different forums about how much does one wild edge step weigh. They weigh pretty much exactly one pound. So you stack four of them together, they should be four pounds. But this is real world, real live experience. So my personal set, after having used them, filled them with bark all season long, wrapped in hockey tape, I did leave them out last night. So again, real world, 4.6 pounds. Although one, one step, real world, let me grab one from down here should weigh exactly one pound as well. So let's uh, just go ahead and put it on there and show you without the bark, without the hockey tape, one step, 1.02 pounds. Okay guys, last last few things here. Uh, the sticks themselves, once you, once you fold them up, 28 inches long. Uh, the steps, four of them, if you, the, the configuration that you saw me run in the video, 10 inches long. Now, I typically run a bag of five, and, and that bag of five off the Wild Edge website, so the five steps plus the bag, carry bag is $85 minus shipping. Uh, what does the stick cost? A shikar stick, a 17-inch shikar stick is $97.98. Four of those, as you saw me employ today, $391.92. Now... I know that's going to give a lot of people sticker shock. Matt isn't building this stick to compete with the cheapy Hawk Heliums that people are buying and cutting down that are steel and things like that. This, he is trying to build the Cadillac of, of sticks. You know, there's a reason there's a market for Lamborghinis and Porsches and Rolls Royce. There's guys who will, who want that top end of whatever that product could be. The Shakar is the top end of the climbing stick world for sure. He is competing more in line with things like Lone Wolf Custom Gear and Dan Infall's B-Stick. 
uh, Dan and Fault's Bee Stick is $80 a piece, and then you have to assemble the pieces when you get them. Uh, Matt's already taken that out of the equation for you, so uh, that's where some of the price differences is, is coming in. Lone Wolf Custom Gear, you can't even buy a single stick right now, but you can buy them in a pack of four for $299. That's a 17-inch stick, Lone Wolf Custom Gear, $299. So you can kind of see where the uh, price range is for the for the own, uh, Out on a Limb Shakar Stick. He's right there in the ballpark with the top high-end uh, top end manufacturers in the uh, custom stick world. So anyway, hope this video has helped you, you know, evaluate, make some choices. You can see what you can do with one system or the other. Uh, the wildest step will take a little bit of work to learn the loop and to get the camming action right. I think it's worth it. Uh, personally, that's, that's what I do. If you're a stick guy, the uh, Shikar sticks are phenomenal and awesome sticks themselves. So whichever way you, you go, uh, I hope you have great success out in the woods and let us know about it. If you have questions, uh, feel free to leave us a comment. We'll try to get back to you and answer those questions as best we can. Thanks for watching the video today. Have a great day.